This is um, about the Independence Day, the President's address. In his 2024 Independence Day address, President Bola Tunubu highlighted the urgency of critical reforms to safeguard Nigeria's future. He stressed that Nigeria is at a crossroad with a choice to embrace necessary changes or risk collapse. In his words, and I quote, my administration took over at a critical moment. The economy faced severe challenges and our security was highly compromised. We had to choose between reform or collapse. And we chose reform. Tenable reported progress in combating terrorism, noting that over 300 Boko Haram and bandit commanders have been neutralized and peace has returned to many northern communities. He emphasized that restoring security would allow farmers to return to their lands, boosting food production and reducing costs. He also warned that without addressing fiscal issues, Nigeria could face collapse. However, reforms have attracted over $30 billion in foreign direct investment in the past year. All right, from the president's statement about Nigeria collapsing without necessary reforms and the fact that instead of collapse, Time. That is the problem. So I think I align myself with Mr. President. That is need for reform, or you collapse. No right. way. But, yes. but then some of the policies that he has introduced uh, as regards reforms. It must be reforms, painful. Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians are against those policies. Is, are you against it or a few pained? Against the policy. What is your own policy? If you are, if you are against the policy, bring your own idea. That is the issue. If we argue. We criticize without bringing solution. Even even when so they bring their own ideas. Who has got solution? Even no, we cannot say that Nigerians have not suggested anything. We cannot say that. What well, are suffering today? You, Let me tell you. We'll talk about the national suffering the space, fund. Well, let's see. And you are aware. It's definitely. You should have to tell that this. But how much? How much? How much are they even? How much do they really get to listen to? some of these reforms that um some of these suggestions right or recommendations that some of these nigerians get to introduce or suggest mr president didn't just come on his own there are these are these are blueprint experts brought along he just he just the he, he is just the principal he's the driver there are people experts globally world over who brought this idea is trying to implement is it is to look at that system even when they get the it's, it's not alone he has a executive council. He has consultants. He has experts across the world who look at the policies and so that thing. It. It's not just to just wake one morning and, and uh, introduce a policy. No, now. Governance are never done that way. Where do you have the executive council meeting? I don't think anybody Where do you have implying council, 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 Is anybody Where implying the, that? Is, in, is anybody implying that the president just... You, the media, is also part of the problem. Up. What do you mean the media? I, I, when, yes. you say, when you say the media, yes. I'm not saying you. Because remember, I introduced you as a journalist. I agree. So we are the media. Okay. But go we are the media. Conversation. We are the media. We refuse to go to mental journalism. It's true. There's nowhere in the world where you don't have this kind of pain. But it depends on how you tell it to the world. When you say this kind of pain. That's you the presumed pain. That's the pain. particular kind no. of pain. And you're saying this kind of pain is in every area. In the world. Let me yes, let me tell you. There's no country that has not this kind of uh, challenges. There's nowhere. But ours has been over years and time because it refused to reform. It refused to reform. And someone has come with courage to reform. Let me tell you again. When uh, uh, Jonathan was around, he wanted to reform, they fought him. He wanted to reform. He's one man that is a Democrat. Nigerians are very difficult when there is a positive changes. That affects probably their, their, their mean, pattern of what life. What do you mean Nigerians find it difficult when there are positive changes? That's a very that's an outright statement. Yes, because, I have apologies. Because, because this when you say positive changes, what makes it positive? People would look at the results and the impacts that it has on them. Okay, let me tell you again. Nigerians in occasions will begin to throw money and abuse the money. Let me tell you too. There are too much money in people's hands than the bank. There are too much money. Okay, so that's why introduction are, of hardship. There are too much money. So we and have less money to, with people. We are reckless with the way we spend. That's for people who have to spend. Spend spending 
a subjective. How many people really have to spend? Eh? See, let me tell you something. If we're going okay, to let check me come the ratio. Before, let me ask again. Food. Everything. Okay, Every let's let's even start from let let's let's be very specific because it looks like we're just being holistic, not pointing at any particular. Hey, hey, let's 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 yes. look at the removal of subsidies. I know that when you said that the pain is something that you would definitely feel when, yes. especially when reforms or uh, policies like this are introduced, right? So let's talk about the particular policy. Let's not just be you know okay, holistic. So, you, okay, so yes, with the with the, with the removal of fuel subsidy mm -hmm. now, now just. A lot of Nigerians clamored for this removal, even okay. before it was done. And then, when it was finally removed, what, what is the issue? What are the people protesting against? What are they talking about? If you have followed that story, you find out that what Nigerians are saying is, it's beginning to look like um, um, that we didn't really have a lot put in place that would get to cushion the effect of the removal of subsidy. And it was just a sharp, you know, um, it was just something that just happened. And before you know it, the effect that it had on Nigeria or it's having on Nigeria just came immediately. So you don't expect the people not to fight that. So they are not against, a lot of people are not really against removal of subsidies. But they are, their own argument is, what did you do? What were, the, what were the measures that were put in place to make sure that when this happens, what is going on now with the hardship that Nigeria are fighting against would not be as much as it is biting at the moment. It's okay. So fi fi finally, yes, yes, yes. No, Go on, go. please. Is the retainable removal subsidy? That's the question first. Who are now? Because you made that statement in the in the was what in ceremony. Was well, the subsidy there? Was it in the budget you edited? What Nigerians are not inside to themselves? It's without the leadership. The masses have refused to work to protest. That same subsidy, the same unit, was that was the subsidy not there in the first place? Was it in that budget? He entered a budget that subsidy was not covered. He said it was removed. So, so you see, sometimes when we are talk about the street talk, you carry out investigation, find out what it is all about. If you go that what was happening today is the sins of the past. Yes. There's no free food in Freetown. Not to us, the country is growing every day like every day that grow. 64 years. Some of us are also almost close to near that, near it. So as keep going every day, things begin to change. The population as at to yesterday was not the population today. The test as I tested is not the test today. So what we're saying in effect, have we found out who indeed moved subsidy? Okay. Let me also align what I'm saying. There are refineries. This issue of primary refinery was started today. Even a person at the time, they gave licenses to a lot of people to float private refineries. What happened to those things? Why is it now that I'm emphasizing Dan Gote, Dan Gote? Yes, there are public refineries owned by government. We also have our crude here. Even though we don't own the technology, we get our crude. Sit outside. If Nigeria can build a refinery outside, what's the point from building a refinery here? Big question. So, because we have no trust, we don't believe in Nigerian economy and governance. We don't believe in Nigerian economy security. We go outside and invest and bring it back here. So, how is that the problem of the people? Yeah, problem of the people. Let's take one now. In governance now. Now, the, the people are hustling, campaigning for election, whatever, whatever. When you go to the government, you don't still when and come by. I people say, I'll see you. In your day, there are no people bring anything back. No, see, in the die for poverty. So you want to bring home. You want to loot. The people, the masses are the problem. Because they force the, the, the leadership to do what they're not supposed to do. I'm not getting that part of it. Because let what, me what, come. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. What exactly are you referring to? What I'm referring to is the people, when I mean the citizens themselves, also part of the problem. We get, we get what you said. Yes. But I'm just wondering what you're referring to. Talking about the citizens. Now, the let me take for instance. Have you asked yourself. To do what they don't want to do. Now, let me, let me take for instance. This crude petroleum we are talking about, because that is the life of the system. That is the life of the economy. Isn't it? In the government center, like I asked before, have they investigated what these problems are? 
Because at the time they say money is missing somewhere. Have you investigated that money who missed? Where did the money go with wings? And who gave the money wings? How did the snake swallow the money? But what I say in effect that Tinibu. So that's the people forcing the the leadership to people, go. Yeah, there. people steal because they want to. The people are told we credit them. Yeah, you got me. What did what did you bring home? Instead of asking for services and uh, services and social amenities, we come from a community. My uncle was once one of the finest pansics in this country. You know, incredible. He came with a certain man, him no get herself. Upon saying day that finish, come here, come to the village. You know, so others are making it. You can't steal. Nigerians encourage stealing. What? Yes, I, 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 I understand that part. We cannot really take that out of the equation, right? We cannot entirely take that out of it. But it, what you are saying is more like making brief for people who go to steal. For instance, these boys that rob around, right? That's so not just hold on, hold yes. on, hold on. These boys go to rob. Yes. And then we see them and say, they, are, they, are, they have mothers at home who push them to go and, you know, you make know, money like they are made. Yeah. That's understandable that that happens. We're not saying that doesn't happen. But that is not an excuse to then say that the people are the ones pushing the leaders to do what they don't want to do. Now, let because me the same on. way those boys that went to steal have mothers at home. That's how the, sa the same boys who are, who get... are not going to steal, who are, who, who are um, responsible individuals, still have parents at home who push them to do it. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. But you let me come. Let me first your issue of what I'm addressing. But putting it all on the people, saying the people are the reason the leaders are doing what they are doing. Now, you know, the, doing what they don't want to do. That is, that is take for instance, now, take, putting all the blame Let me people. take you back to the protest issue. Yes. What is the direction? You and I can stay and plan it and uh, mobilize people. What is our direction? Petroleum, as a case, we have refineries that are come at us. There are millions of dollars you know, that I have been invested in. Is that also the fault of the people? I'm coming, allow me. You are talking about subsidy or not subsidy, but not problem. If we have our own homegrown refinery, our refineries working, the potential will stop. Exactly. Good. What, again, you should be talking about who is sabotaging it? You said the one you mentioned about power. People are sabotaging it. If the finance start working, why would they be stealing the money to, to go and import, claim they've imported fuel, you, you brought nothing and you collected the money? What are they importing? You bring the empty receipts, come back home, I say you have imported the fuel, you return back again and collect the money. So, what I should, my stand is that the government, of course, if you cannot run this one, privatize it. All right.